Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Grand Cross Age of Titans on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Grand Cross Age of Titans and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Grand Cross Age of Titans. So without further ado, let's get to it! First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to open our main web browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We ended up on this page on our internet site of Usidility, at which we find here a precise overview on how you can download and install Grand Cross Age of Titans on PC. We search down a little bit and press on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will run to get access to this game Grand Cross Age of Titans on PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of using this emulator. So we are on the way to proceed to download the Grand Cross Age of Titans by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. We then click on it and the download takes no time at all. Voila! This is the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to run the executable file, so we need to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We have clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to see the installation software significantly better. The installer is very simple to use. It is made up of a couple of choices. Install, and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path does. We merely click on it. And therefore we discover that we have here the path where the emulator is going to be set up. If we choose to modify this directory we must click on the browse button. Therefore we opt for another folder and set up the emulator where we wish. I prefer to keep it as it is. I click on back. And I simply click install. Now, there it is. The setup begins and it is going to go forward along with the download of all these megabytes that happens to be shown on the screen. Once you save it on your computer, it could possibly be more or less MB. The data transfer rate could go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your internet and depending on the speed of the emulator web servers. Now they're going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started on autopilot. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar which will fill up and once it gets to the ending, the emulator will be launched for the first time. In reality, the emulator has been started, there for the first time. Before we continue, as now you can see, it created a couple of software icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is the only one we are considering. When we would like to launch Grand Cross Age of Titans on the PC, we twice mouse click on that software icon and as a result use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we do the following step, which is actually a must-have, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is started. At this point we are required to log on. So now when we're on this page, we must absolutely begin doing the next phase which is mandatory. Therefore we simply click on, sign in. Presently it says, checking info. It could occasionally get stopped at, checking info, and so it doesn't continue. If so, you may attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it'll probably be sorted out. At this time we are going to insert our username and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email and its corresponding password. For example you may use the very same email address you are using currently in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to submit my info and I will come back when I have done it. Voila! Data typed in. 
Below is Google welcoming us and supplying us the terms of service. We must accept them simply by pressing, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected and it'll create a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play is started automatically and completely on its own. To set up the application, we have to go to the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on this icon indicated green colored. At present that we are on the desktop of this Android emulator, we notice that we find here the install game button. We just click on the button. Listed here we access to the game. Let's quickly simply click right here on the install option that I'm highlighting now in green. That click will initiate the installation. Right now it is going to download on your laptop or computer and set up the video game. It may take a while or it could possibly be almost immediate. That all is going to depend on our connection to the web. This has just completed installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this option that I'm showing in green. If you want to run Grand Cross Age of Titans for the very first time. We are by then on the emulator desktop. And then we're about to simply click this fresh Grand Cross Age of Titans icon that's been created. The game app has started for the first time. Now there we end up with it. I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the volume level of that emulator. It's here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we won't rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is simply the first one. We simply click on this particular app icon which I am mentioning in green. Thus the display screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Granted that we desire to experience the application using all the screen, we mouse click on this icon. And thus we would at present be experiencing the gameplay in 100% screen function. To leave the complete screen mode, press the F11 key. And we'd at present end up being in standard display mode. At present, I am ready to show you the keys mapping that is certainly quite helpful. This way we definitely will be able to utilize the video game a lot more effortlessly. The first point is to press this app icon. It's now time to get the appropriate setups. I'm going to leave the normal configuration, but if you like to adjust that, you can do so without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is absolutely in our language. In some cases it occurs that your emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for example, in Chinese. And thus to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And there inside of various other configuration settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We can decide on the language we like, Spanish, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will reboot, and also the video game, next time we launch it, would also be in the selected language. At this moment, you can find another information that we need to take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Google saying that a brand new machine has been associated with our own Google account. It will question us if we're the people who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we should not worry, since the emulator is emulating an Google Android electronic device. So you can see which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated. We come back right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Let's go here to the, model, choice. And now we observe that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our video tutorial. I hope that you liked it, especially that you found it helpful. If that's so, allow it a nice like, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer all your remarks, concerns or ideas, put them in the comment box below. Check out any of these videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and see you in the following instructional videos. Bye.